this is Jim from DET Digital Photography. Today's tutorial is how to make a composite of multiple images. This uh, tutorial is for my friend Bill. So let's get started. What we want to do is we want to make um, a picture with four smaller pictures inside of it. And uh, Bill needs this to be a wallet sized picture so we're going to uh, start with on that premise. So let's uh, open up uh, Adobe Photoshop Bridge, find the four pictures. I'm going to use the four pictures of my uh, granddaughter. I'm going to select all four of them, and then I'm going to double click, and they open up into uh, Photoshop CS6. Uh, and you can see across the top here, it lines them right up on the uh, screen. Now, the first thing I have to do is I have to create a new document to place these pictures in. So I'm going to go to File, New, and I'm going to call this Wallet, W-A-L-L-E-T. And a wallet size picture is 2.5 inches wide by 3.5 inches high. I only know this because I looked it up on the internet. Background color will be white. Resolution doesn't have to be 300. We're printing a pretty small picture here for the final output. So I'm going to go 140 for the resolution. That should print just fine. Click OK. Now you notice up here on the command line, you see wallet is the first uh, item up here. So we're going to go to the first picture of Libby, my granddaughter. Right here it is. We want to crop this image, but I'm going to crop it in a different way. You notice I have the crop tool selected, but I'm not going to crop with the crop tool. I'm going to crop with the um, rectangular marquee tool, which is the second tool down on the left hand side in the uh, tool uh, toolbar over here. So I'm going to click, right click, and then select the rectangular marquee tool because I don't need all of this extra space around Libby. I only need Libby to be in this picture. And the uh, aspect ratio doesn't matter because I'm going to be pasting her into an image that is uh, 2.5 inches wide and um, 3.5 inches high. So all I'm going to do is make a rectangle around Libby just like this. If you want to move the rectangle once you have it selected you can't let, let up on your uh, mouse click but you can push the space bar and you can move it back and forth while you still have it selected like so, and when you turn loose, it selects Libby. Now, a lot of people think that once you've done that, you can't move it anymore, but you can by using the arrows on your keyboard. It moves it one pixel at a time. You can see it moving left and right, left and right. There are other ways of shrinking the uh, selection and things like that, but uh, we're going to just call that good for now. Okay, so we have a selection made right around Libby. We're going to go up to uh, Image crop, and it crops that selection on a uh, layer by itself. Now there's two ways of doing the next step. You notice that this is still a selection, so we can copy and paste it, which is very simple. You can go to the Edit menu here, Copy, and then Paste, or you can use the keyboard shortcuts, which you see right next here, which is Command or Control um, C for Copy, and Command or Control V for Paste. So let's go ahead and we will make a copy. That copies our selection. Now we go over to the Wallet. This is where we want to paste it. We go back to the uh, Edit menu, down to Paste, and you notice it pastes Libby on uh, top of the uh, Wallet um, image. The only problem is that we want to get four pictures of Libby on this image. So we need to make her smaller. The best way to do that is to do a free transform. You do a free transform by going to Edit, about two-thirds of the way down, Free Transform. You notice the shortcut is Control or Command T. I'll use it from here. You notice it puts a box around the image and puts anchor points on the corner. Now, this is too bit too large, so I'm going to grab the corner anchor point. Now, you have to be careful here. If you just start dragging it, it's going to make the image thinner. As you make it uh, shorter, 
and so forth, but it's going to lose its aspect ratio. If you want to constrain the uh, shrinkage, then you need to press the shift key. So I'm holding down the shift key, dragging the corner. You notice that the rectangle stays the same size. I'm going to put this picture of Libby right up in this corner right. Let's put a small one right up here in the corner. I'm going to leave a little bit of room around her, pull her down just a little, leave a little edge around the edge. Call that good. Once we have it sized correctly, transformed correctly, we need to set the transformation and you can click on this little check mark up here. You notice it says commit trans, uh, transform and you notice right after it it says enter. You could either click here or hit the enter key. That sets up the uh, first image in the wallet image. Now you notice it also pastes it in on its own layer over here on the right size. It's called layer one. So let's go back and get the second image. Here we are. Here's Libby on the beach. We're going to do the same thing. Get the rectang uh, rectangular marquee tool. Make a selection around her. Like so. I want to get the uh, ribbon in too. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do another uh, copy and paste. So this time I'm going to use the uh, keyboard shortcut cuts. I'm going to use um, Command or Control Copy C, and then I'm going to go back to Wallet, and I'm going to use Command or Control V to paste her in. Same procedure now. I'm going to go back to the Edit menu, down to Free Transform. Remember the shortcut is Command or Control T. It makes the uh, box around uh, Libby with the anchor points. I'm going to grab the corner, hold down the Shift key. Make the picture any size that I want. Let's make this one a little bit bigger because she's a little wider down here. Let's stick her right down here. Let's call that good. We have to commit the uh, transformation, so we click on the check bar. Okay, so we have two pictures in. Let's continue and get the third picture. Here's the third picture. We're going to use the uh, uh, rectangular marquee tool again. This time, let's make a little fatter picture. I've got a little spot up there I think that this is going to fit in, so let's make a little wider picture this time. Get a little that seaweed in, get down below her feet a little bit, and call that good. All right, now I'm going to show you another uh, way to do the same thing. Remember, we've copied and pasted Libby into the wallet image uh, the last two times. This time, we're going to just move her in. We're going to go get the Move tool, which is the top tool in the tool uh, menu here. You notice it uh, is the Move tool. You can move things around. You notice when I hover over my selection that the Move tool, which over here has arrows moving up and down and left and right, when I move over a selection, it turns into scissors. That means I'm going to cut it out. So I left-click, pull Libby right out of the image, hover over Wallet. You notice Wallet lights up, drag her right back down, and drop her. Same as cut and paste, or excuse, copy and paste. You notice over here on the right, she's on a layer by herself, layer three. We're going to free transform. This time I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut, command or control T. Grab the uh, corner, hold down the shift key to restrain it, and I'm going to pull it in. I'm going to pull her up into this corner because I want her to fit right up in here a little bit, just like that. Okay, I'm going to hold down the shift key again and just pull it in a little. Now, is it okay to have one picture overlapping the other? You can if you want, or we can pull it all the way up so it doesn't show. Whichever way you choose to do it, remember this is your uh, image that you're creating. You can do it any way you want. I think I'm going to pull it down just a bit. I'm going to have these two touch. There you go. I kind of like that. Okay, to commit, commit the uh, transformation, this time instead of clicking on the check mark up here, I'm going to hit the Enter key. You notice in uh, Photoshop there's uh, two or three ways of doing just about anything you want to do. You notice that was layer three. Okay, now we have to get the last picture. Let's go over here, get the last image. I'm just clicking on it. Rectangular marquee tool. You can see this is kind of repetitive now. Now you notice this time I cut Libby's foot off, so let's cut her all the way off a little bit. We don't want to cut her at the knee because we want to cut her kind of in between. Let's do that. I like her arms kind of making a 
a diagonal line across the image. Okay, let's do the uh, move again. Hover over the selection. You notice it turns to scissors. Pull her up to the wallet image and drop her in. Okay, let's do a free transform here. Command Control T, grab the corner, constrain using the shift key, pull her down. Let's see if she fits here. Is she going to fit there? Yeah. I don't know. Let's make her a little smaller. Hold the shift key, pull her in. Pull her in. There she goes. Okay, do I like it? Yeah, I guess so. We've got her touching in the middle. We got a little bit of a uh, edge around her. Let's commit the uh, transformation by hitting the enter key. There, now we have four pictures. This first picture over here on the right, I think could be a little bit bigger. Look at the space around it on both sides. So let's go get it. It's layer number one. So if I click on layer number one, it selects the layer that that picture is on. I'm going to do another free transform by hand hitting the command or control T, and then I'm going to drag the corner, holding the shift key to constrain it, and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. For what we're doing, let's call that good. We have four pictures on here. You could spend time. You could overlap them in the middle. You could do a lot of different things with this. Now, one other thing I wanted to show you is when you have, after you have the images here, you notice they're all on their own layer. So at any time you want, you can get the Move tool, which is the top tool here, and you can grab the image on that layer and you can move it around independent of the others. Let's say I want to move the one in the upper left-hand corner. That is layer number three. So I click on layer number three. And let's move it down a little bit over. Let's make this look a little more freeform. I kind of like that. Okay, that's kind of random and it doesn't look like anything. Okay, there's our wallet size image. There's only one last step, and that step is we have to flatten the image. Because now we have it on layers, and if we're going to really use it, we need to make this into a JPEG or something we can email, something we can use. And layers don't always well transfer translate to that. They're okay as long as you're in Photoshop because it's a PSD file, a Photoshop file. And of course, Adobe Photoshop products will open it. But if you want to email it to somebody else or do something else with it, JPEGs are uh, much more universal, much more easy to uh, use by other people. So in order to do that, we need to collapse it. We need to merge it all into one layer. We need to flatten the image. It has... Uh, what, five layers now, a background and four other layers. So the easiest way to do that is go to layer. All the way down on the bottom, you have three cho choices. Merge down, which merges the layer you have uh, selected with the layer underneath it. Merge visible, that's the ones that are visible, or simply just flatten images. Sometimes it's just easier just to flatten the image. You notice that now there is only one um, layer. The image is set. It's ready to be printed. This is a three and a half high by two and a half inches wide image, ready to be used. This is Jim again from DET Digital Photography. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, tutorial.